Gear f***ing matters. No, it f***ing doesn't. Let's see if we can figure this out. There seems to be this constant push and pull between gear talk that makes us think that we need better camera gear or that the gear matters, and seasoned pros with a 12 grand Leica that's like, eh, it doesn't really matter that much. So what the f is it? I think that there's a common misconception around the phrase gear doesn't matter. It's taken literally, as if literally any camera will be fine and you can do absolutely anything with it. And while in many cases any camera would be fine, it's not always the case. And when you're starting out and you're not making amazing images, it's hard to see how that is the case. Like, it seems like gear should matter. The first time I bought a 50mm prime lens, it was the Canon 50mm 1.8 STM. It's 120 bucks, not an expensive lens at all, but at the time I was like, oh, I'm investing in a nice lens. And the minute I saw that blurred out bokeh background, I was like, I can't believe that I can make these pictures with this lens now. And for the next three years, I was obsessed with bokeh, and that made me think that I was a better photographer because I got this piece of gear that allowed me to blur out backgrounds. And so beginner photographer me concluded that the gear must matter. Fast forward a few years and I started to shoot weddings. And along with that came the idea that I need to invest in full frame camera gear in order to be accepted into the industry. So I bought a 5D Mark II. And as I shot more and more weddings, I also got a 5D Mark III because I wanted to shoot with two camera bodies and I'd have a backup in case one went down. And then further down the line, I was looking for better autofocus, more low light performance. I bought a 5D Mark IV. As that went along, my images kept getting better and better. And I believed that as I was upgrading this gear and my images were getting better, that that was because the gear was making the difference. But it actually wasn't. They were happening together but what was actually happening was I had been practicing more. So the correlation was buying the new gear, but it was not the causation. The causation was me practicing and shooting more. And so eventually I, I concluded that the gear must not matter. It helps, it's nice to have, but it must not matter. A year or so after that, I started to get interested in street photography. And so I took my Canon 5D Mark IV and whatever lens I felt like using on the day out with me on the streets of Philadelphia and suddenly, this was a piece of shit. It felt big, heavy, cumbersome. I couldn't really carry it in a comfortable way and go about my normal day. It was noisy, it caught everybody's eye. People would turn and look at me from seemingly impossible directions from their periphery. There's just like some sort of weird sense that there's a gigantic camera pointed towards you. And all of my photos were trash. They were great quality, 30 megapixels, full frame, L-series glass, great quality, but shit street photos. Then in January of 2019, I bought a Fuji X-T2, and at first I used the kit lens, and then I bought the 35 f2 lens, and things started to fall in place. I felt a little bit more at ease. People weren't turning to look at me as if I was some sort of paparazzi on the street. I had a small camera that a normal person might carry with them. I was worried that maybe the autofocus wouldn't be as good or like the low light noise performance wouldn't be as good. But the more I shot it, the less of the tech that I relied on and the more I embraced its imperfections. Eventually, I ended up getting an X100V because I felt like that was where I wanted my street photography to go and it seemed like the right piece of kit for the job. It wasn't so much that it was the newest model and it had all the latest tech, I really don't use it that way. It was more that it was the only one that had weather sealing and its shutter was quieter than all of the other Fuji cameras and so it felt like it would fit into my workflow and it was a little bit smaller than the X-T2 which it was, uh, that was a bonus. And fast forward to a few months ago and I decided to buy a Ricoh GR, the one from 2013, the original crop sensor one, as like a pocket sidearm backup type camera. And this thing has the least tech of any camera that I've used before. So from a 5D Mark IV to a 2013 Ricoh GR, I concluded that the gear must not matter. But I've got absolutely no plans to start shooting weddings with a Ricoh GR or a Fuji X100V. The X100V actually is becoming a backup camera for me, but I will still reach for the Canon before any of those other cameras when I'm shooting weddings. 
that would be the camera that I trusted the most, I think, or maybe that I know the best. I don't know which it is really, but it allows me to produce the right kind of images that I want, that clients expect from me, and I feel like it makes that workflow easier. Therefore, gear must matter. There are a million different scenarios where we could argue that gear does or does not matter. Ultimately, what I think it comes down to is that no matter what the scenario, skill is more important than the gear. But why do so many skilled photographers seem to always have the most expensive gear? Well, sometimes the more expensive gear operates at a level that is required for a commercial output, or maybe there's a quality to the image, to the sensor size, to the lens, that lends itself to the project that the photographer's doing and allows them to produce consistent work. Or maybe the camera just operates in a way that is enjoyable to the photographer and that facilitates them making the work that they want to make. So ultimately, yeah, the gear matters, but no, the gear doesn't really matter. The actual answer to this is what gear matters or doesn't matter to you. This has spilled over into a second day of shooting because I cannot decide what way I want to conclude this video. So hopefully this made some sense to you. I don't think it'll stop anybody from suddenly acquiring more gear before they need to. I myself keep wanting to buy a Leica. I've had them in my cart multiple times recently. I've considered trading other cameras for them and I just keep pulling back from it because I know that I actually don't need it. I just want it because I think that that style of shooting will be enjoyable to me, but I'm pretty bloody close with the gear that I've already got. So I just don't need it. And it doesn't really matter in terms of making my pictures look better. So hopefully this video has made some sense and not just made everything even more confusing. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.